We installed the developer preview of iOS 11 at WWDC and there seem to be a lot of changes, both in interface and at the system level. These are our first impressions. We notice that in the storage options under general setting, you now have the option to offload unused apps. This can come in handy if your device is running out of space. Most importantly, it doesn't delete your saved data and documents, so you can always retrieve it when you really need it. Under location settings, now you can get the option to turn on location only when you're using the app, for all apps. Earlier, apps like Uber used to only get the option to always use location or never use it. We notice that the much talked about files feature on the iPad Pro, which lets you access files from across your cloud storage services, is also available on the iPhone. Apple has, however, announced some specific new features that are exclusive to iPad, like multitasking features, improved dock, drag and drop functionality, and more ways to use Apple Pencil. Control Center is also getting an overhaul, so now everything can be found on one page. Swiping up on the home screen will see airplane mode, rotation lock, Apple Music Player all in one page. You can also 3D touch some of the controls that will expand them to bring up more options. The control center is also customizable and we could add and remove features that we're more likely to use, like replacing the flashlight with a screen recorder. Settings in iOS 11 do not feature social accounts and the third-party apps no longer have access to signed-in accounts. This effectively means that the convenient single sign-on that was earlier available for various social apps such as Facebook and Twitter, thanks to the system-level integration, will no longer be available for users. iOS 11 also adds support for additional Indian regional languages. So now besides Hindi, you also have an option for Malayalam, Odia and Kannada keyboards. Finally, moving on to the new App Store, it now has dedicated tabs for games and apps as well as a new tab called Today, which is the first thing users see when they access the App Store. Each day there will be a new app of the day, new game of the day and a list of themes such as meditation. And stories from earlier in the week can also be seen. We found the overall interface a lot more readable and the icons appearing more prominent and well-spaced. Even the App Details page gives you important information like the overall app ranking up front. You also have easier access to reviews and as you scroll further, you get more app suggestions. iOS 11 is available as a developer preview today and will be a free software update for iPhone and iPad this fall. It will become available as a public beta later this month. Notably, the iOS 11 update is meant for the iPhone 5S and newer devices, all iPad Air and iPad Pro tablets, iPad 5th generation and newer devices, iPad mini 2 and newer devices and the iPod Touch 6th generation. For all things tech, don't forget to log on to Gadgets360.com.